So, you're wondering how much it costs to live in Vancouver, BC. Well, this video is going to cover everything you need to know about the cost of living right here in Vancouver, BC, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty, and I'm a local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. I was named one of the top 50 video influencers in real estate in North America for the past two consecutive years for the way I utilize video to sell my clients homes and educate them as well. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love, and own here in Vancouver, BC. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified the moment that I have a new video out. I really want you to be able to stay up to date on all of the latest tips and insights into the Vancouver real estate market so you can become an expert too. This video is all about what it costs to live in Vancouver. So we're going to cover everything from renting, buying a home, groceries, gas, and a lot of other things. So let's jump into it. Let's just get this out of the way right now. It's expensive to live in this city and housing prices and rent are predominantly what make it so expensive to live in Vancouver compared to other cities in Canada. In fact, Vancouver is the most expensive city to live in Canada at the moment with Toronto being a close second. The average detached home price in Canada at the moment is $499,000, but that number is heavily skewed by the Toronto and Vancouver markets. Now, if we take those two markets out of the equation, that average price drops to $393. The average detached home price in Greater Vancouver at the moment is $979,000. In downtown Vancouver, the average cost of a condo is approximately $730,000 as of August 31st, 2019. Now, if you want to live on the west side of Vancouver or in West Vancouver, and those are two separate places, the average detached home price at the moment is between 2.6 and 2.8 million dollars. Now, as expensive as Vancouver is to live in, we actually rank 57th overall in the world. Okay, so we know that buying a home in Vancouver is expensive, but what about renting? Well, the news isn't much better. This is a beautiful city and people want to live here. The rental market is incredibly tight in the city and that pushes rental prices up. Right now, according to Nambeo, the average cost for a one-bedroom apartment in the city center is just over $2,000 a month. Now that does drop slightly as you head out of the city center to approximately $1,590 per month. But if you're a family requiring a home with three bedrooms or more, you're most likely going to have to live outside of the city center and the average cost of rent per month will be about $2,700. Given those prices, if you're single in this city, it can be tough. As you can see, moving to Vancouver does require some careful planning. You're going to want to crunch the numbers to see whether you can buy a home here or have to rent one. I have a great video about the six tips to making your move to Vancouver easier, and you can find that here. And just as a comparison, this is what it would cost if you were renting a home in Seattle, just south of us, or if you were living in Toronto. Okay, we talked about getting into a home, whether you're buying or renting it. So now let's talk about the cost of your average utilities. Right now, for one person living in a 520 square foot apartment, it costs about $120 per month. And that's for your heating, electricity, and gas. Now for two people living in almost twice the amount of square footage, it only costs $134 per month. So if you're single and living in this city, you may want to do what they do on the ski hills here when they line up to get on the chairlift. And that's raise your hand in the air and yell out, single! Also, the nightlife in this city is fantastic. So if you are looking for that special someone, hopefully it won't take you too long. Now those utility costs don't cover things like internet, phone, and cable. So how much do those things cost? Well, the average cost for internet here in Vancouver is approximately $75 per month for an unlimited data plan. For a mobile phone, you're looking at anywhere from $55 to $95 per month depending on the plan that you need. Yes, we're forever lamenting the high cost of mobile phone plans here in Canada, 
as opposed to our neighbors to the south in the United States. For cable, you're looking at approximately $30 per month for a basic cable package, and it only goes up from there. Now, the two big service providers here in Vancouver are TELUS and Shaw, and both companies do offer discounts when you bundle services together. For example, if you happen to have mobile phone, your television, cable, and internet all bundled together with one of those providers, you're going to save a lot of money compared to having those services individually with them or with several different companies. So shop around, make sure to do your research because both companies are always offering discounts to new customers. Okay, so you're living in your home, you're paying your utilities, now how do you get to work? Well, if you like biking, Vancouver has over 450 kilometers of bike lanes throughout the city. That's 279 miles for those of you who don't think in kilometers. So it's no wonder that it's the city's fastest growing travel method. In downtown Vancouver, there are a plethora of bike shops to rent a bike if you're a tourist, particularly down at Denman and Georgia, which is close to Stanley Park. And we also have the Moby bike stations throughout the city. Now you may not be into biking and that's okay. We have a fantastic transit system here in Vancouver. We have the iconic C bus and SkyTrain lines, as well as the regular bus systems. And a monthly pass to access all of the transit systems is approximately $98 per month. Now, maybe you have to live further from the city, so biking isn't an option and you hate public transit. What is it going to cost in gas for your vehicle? Well, right now in Vancouver, the cost of gas is anywhere from $1.30 per liter to $1.60 per liter, depending on the minute. No, I'm serious. Our gas prices here change almost hourly and nobody can tell us why. It's ridiculous. And we have the highest gas prices in Canada. So it is expensive if you're driving and commuting to and from work. For me to fill up my car, it's about $90 if I'm on empty. Now, what if you're a family in need of childcare? Childcare costs are expensive and the wait lists can be long. So if you know you're going to need a spot, I recommend getting on the list in the area that you're going to be living as soon as possible. Now the average monthly cost for full day private childcare is approximately $1,300 per month. Okay, so you're living here in Vancouver, you found daycare for your kids and you're working as well. Now why do we work? So we can go out and enjoy the incredible restaurant and beverage scene here in Vancouver. Vancouver is known for its food. Now we're most well known for our salmon and local seafood, but we also have incredibly diverse and world-class restaurants. Don't know what you're in the mood to eat for lunch or dinner? Well, simply pick a culinary ethnicity and Vancouver will satisfy your needs. The beer and spirit scene in Vancouver is equally amazing. We have tons of microbreweries and distilleries cranking out incredible and award-winning spirits. Now, the average cost for two people at a mid-range restaurant here in Vancouver is about $80. But if you're at a higher-end restaurant, you're looking probably at around $125 to $150. Now, most of us can't afford to eat out all the time, so you're going to be getting your groceries at places like The Real Canadian Superstore, No Frills, Safeway, Loblaws, Thrifties, and if you're a real Vancouverite, Whole Foods or Urban Fair. And those last two are definitely on the pricier side. But your average weekly grocery bill is going to be anywhere from $200 to $300 per week, depending on the size of your family. The most important thing to consider when moving to Vancouver is what kind of lifestyle your budget will allow. If having smaller square footage and a higher price tag for a home are the trade-offs for you to live right in the city so that you can walk everywhere, hang out at English Bay, take advantage of Stanley Park, cruise Yale Town and Robson Streets, then that's for you to decide. But there are plenty of other areas just outside of the city that can provide what you're looking for as well. I mean, there's North Vancouver, West Vancouver, Burnaby, Richmond, uh, Coquitlam, Port Moody, New Westminster, and there are even more terrific cities further east of the city, such as Langley, Maple Ridge, and Chilliwack as well. I know there are going to be people who watch this video and do nothing but complain about this city in the comments section. Now, there are always going to be pros and cons to living in any city, and only you can decide what's right for you and what's going to make you happy. So, if that's living on a farm or acreage in one of the prairie provinces, then right on. If it's living in a larger city like Toronto or Montreal, or perhaps having a home in the Maritimes, then go for it. But find what's right for you. 
In my opinion, life's too short to be miserable and complain all the time. I'm a local real estate agent here in Vancouver. So if you have any questions or you're thinking of moving to Vancouver or your job has you relocating here, give me a call. You can reach out to me via phone call, text, or email. I'm here to help and help you find that ideal home for yourself. I've lived in Vancouver for over 40 years. I love it, it's a fantastic city, and I would love to help you find a home here as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that thumbs up button, give it a like, and leave a comment in the comment section below. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live here in Vancouver, so if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified the moment that I have a new video out. Have a great day and remember, this is where you live, love, own Vancouver.